Hello, you are welcome. How to evaluate without making use of calculator? 1 divided by 5 raised to the power of 1 divided by 5. Now, what we are going to do is to consider this identity. If we have a raised to the power of 1 divided by n, this equals the n root of a. So we are going to apply this identity right here. That means this will give us the fifth root of 1 divided by 5. And this simply means we are going to have the fifth root of 1 divided by the fifth root of 5. And meanwhile, the fifth root of 1 is simply 1 divided by we have the fifth root of 5. Now, let's copy this down here. We have 1 divided by the fifth root of 5. So this simply means we need to consider this other identity. If you have 1 divided by the n root of a, this simply means you can rewrite it as 1 divided by the n root of a times the n root of a raised to the power of n minus 1 divided by the nth root of a raised to the power of n minus 1 again. Now we are going to apply this identity, this identity right here. This particular identity, we are going to apply it here. That means 1 divided by the fifth root of 5 simply means we are going to have, let me write it here, 1 divided by the fifth root of 5 times we have the fifth root of 5 raised to the power of, we have 5 minus 1 divided by the fifth root of 5 raised to the power of 5 minus 1. So we are just applying this identity right here. So this will certainly give us, we are going to have, if you multiply 1 by the fifth root of this, we are going to have the same thing. So we have the fifth root of 5 raised to the power of 4, that is 5 minus 1. Then we have divided by, we have the fifth root of 5 times we have this, the fifth root of 5 raised to the power of 4. So certainly this will give us the fifth root of 5 raised to the power of 4 divided by. Now we have fifth root here and we have fifth root here. We can take it out. We have the fifth root of 5 times 5 raised to the power of 4. Remember this raised to the power of 1. So we apply this identity if you have a power n times a power m. This equals a power n plus m. So we are going to add this 1 to 4. We are going to have 5. So this will give us the fifth root of 5 raised to the power of 4. Then we have divided by the fifth root of 5 raised to the power of 5. Now, the next thing we are going to do is let's find out what this 5 raised to the power of 4 is. Remember that 5 raised to the power of 4 equals 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. And this will give you 6 to 5. So that means we are going to insert it here. That means we are going to have the fifth root of 6 to 5. Then we have divided by the 
the fifth root of 5 raised to the power of 5. Now, let's take out this fifth root we have here. So remember, if you have root of a, this equals a raised to the power of 1 over 2. Now, this will give us 6 to 5 raised to the power of 1 over 5. Then we have divided by 5 raised to the power of 5 raised to the power of 1 divided by 5 as well. So, we can multiply these two exponents. So, this will give us 6 to 5 raised to the power of 1 over 5 divided by 5 times 1 over 5 is 1, so we have 5. So, we can leave our answer this way, or we can leave it as the fifth root of 6 to 5 divided by 5. So this becomes our final answer. And that is it for the video. I believe you have seen the different tricks that we have used. Please, if you enjoyed the class, don't forget to subscribe, share this video to your friends. Thank you and goodbye.